These are practice exercises from page 386 and 387 in the textbook. We're just going to do some basic conversions between different pressure units. This is really similar to stuff we were doing earlier where we're just looking at setting up conversion factors and using those to solve problems. So you've got a whole list up here of different conversion factors. So this is the information we're going to use when we set up those equalities. So if we take a look at the first problem, they're telling us that they're giving us a pressure in tor and they would like us to convert into kilopascals. So we can see tor here, kilopascals there. So we're going to go ahead and set up this conversion factor, starting with the 745 tor. We know we want units of tor to cancel. We want to be in units of kilopascals. And we know that there are 101.35 kilopascals for every 760 tor. So just entering that into your calculator, rounding it to three significant figures, we will get 99.3 kilopascals. And at this point, it's always a good idea to make sure that this answer is reasonable. So we know that one atmosphere is equal to 760 tor, so we're looking at a little less than one atmosphere. And we know that one atmosphere is also equal to 101.35 kilopascals. And again, since we were under one atmosphere here, it makes sense that this number is also under one atmosphere. So that looks good. Okay, let's move on to part B. In this case, they're giving us information in millibars, and they want it in atmospheres. So now this time, we're going to use the information from bar to convert to atmospheres. Now we've got one extra step in here because we are actually in millibar, so we're just going to add that into our conversions, but it's going to look very, very similar. So start with our 902 millibar. We know we want to get rid of millibar and that in every one bar there are 1,000 millibar. The next thing we want to do is get rid of bar so we can be in units of atmosphere and according to the conversions there's one atmosphere for every 1.0135 bar. So if we look at our units, millibar will cancel bar cancels, we're going to be left in units of atmospheres, and this is going to be 0 0.890 after we round that to three significant figures. And again, we can double check our answer and make sure this seems reasonable. So we've got 902 millibar, which is going to be a little bit less than a bar, and a little bit less than a bar should be a little bit less than an atmosphere. So everything still makes sense. Okay, and the very last conversion we have here this time they're giving it to us in atmospheres and they want us to convert that into both pascals and kilopascals. So a very similar situation here. Start with what we know, 0 0.975 atmospheres. And we'll go ahead and convert to kilopascals first. So we know that there are 101.35 kilopascals for every one atmosphere. So that's going to give us an answer of 98.8 kilopascals. And then we can go ahead and use our metric prefixes to convert that into regular pascals. So we know the prefix kilo means 1,000. That means there are 1,000 regular pascals for every one kilopascal. So doing the math here, we're going to get 988 zero zero pascals and writing that so that we have three significant figures in scientific notation 9.88 times 10 to the fourth pascals so pretty straightforward just unit conversions conversion factors like we were doing before when we do these gas loss problems you're going to notice that you spend a lot of time converting pressures and temperatures back and forth between different units so just make sure you're comfortable with doing this understanding where to put the units so that they cancel and get the unit that you want and make sure you can show your work for these when you do it in your homework and on a test